one and one. One and one is one. It's two, but it's still one. L even, L even. As above, so below. When Neo wakes up after he takes the red pill and he the dramatic scene, you know, when he wakes up in his iPod and unplugs the Jack, Jack, Neo, N-E-O, N-E-O, O, N-E. What happens, right, he comes out of the iPod, the bod, iPod body, and he looks around him, and what does he behold? He beholds truth, that all of his fellow humans are in pods being harvested for electricity. And there's, he's surrounded by nothing but millions of fellow human souls in pods asleep, jacked into the matrix, being fed a false simulation of false reality and being harvested for their electrical energy, used as batteries, as Morpheus says, shows us Neo later on, and he tells him what the Matrix is. This is, that right there, the Matrix is allegory, watch Mark Passio's series, The Matrix Trilogy Decoded, if you want to understand what's going on 100% symbolically in, in the Matrix Trilogy, starring Trinity, Matrix Trilogy Trinity, right? What, that allegory, what happens to Neo, is what happens to everyone who awakens from the spell of this machine, har battery, energy harvesting, slave society system that we're all forced to live by. With its cost of living, with its putting a price tag on life, pay, having to pay to live, which is absolutely a violation of natural law. Life is a birthright, and that includes what makes life possible, food, clothing, shelter. It's a scam, it's a fraud. So if you're mentally, if you're mentally, either through thinking or faith, belief, feeling, and reason, either one of these or both of them, you are aligned with the system, and you're okay with having to pay to live, then you are a mind slave and you're in that iPod sleeping, being used as a battery. So the Matrix, just like this book, which is your body symbolically, is an allegory. The Matrix in the Bible, all it's literary, not literal. So if you take it literally, you're missing the point. You're not catching the symbolism, the allegory of it, and you're not applying it to your own life because that's what it's doing. It's, it's giving you a picture in literary form of the situation, the psychic, spiritual situation that we're in. As above, so below. As within, so without. Hare Krishna. this I think that's natural cloud cover you got another thing coming this is man playing God doing what he is absolutely prohibited from doing from taking over the climate system from derailing it and intervening where he should not aerosol spraying metal particulate infused clouds for geoengineering and the transhuman agenda. This crime is not addressed and not faced and not dealt with. Academia continues to remain silent, betraying all of humanity and all of the web of life. We're gonna go extinct. There's no stopping it on the present course. Namaste.